Hello and welcome to South Today. Coming up, the end of the road for Bournemouth's biggest bus company after 120 years. Yellow buses will stop running tonight, also this lunchtime. You are not alone. The NHS service offering quick access to support for those who feel isolated. And they went for a burger but found a boa constrictor, the five-foot snake caught outside McDonald's in Bognor. Good afternoon, I'm David Allard. The company that runs Bournemouth's yellow buses ceases trading today. It called in the administrators last week, wiped out by the double whammy of lower passenger numbers in the pandemic and soaring fuel prices. The company carries 15 million passenger journeys each year. It employs 300 staff and it recently celebrated its 120th anniversary, though the current owners have only had it for three years. But tonight, more bus in pool is stepping in to take over many of the services. For the latest, let's join our transport correspondent, Paul Clifton, who's in Bournemouth this lunchtime. Paul. Well, David, many of the yellow buses are already locked up in the depot behind me. Bournemouth Corporation started out running trams and then it ran trolley buses and from the 1960s, buses. It was owned by the council then by French companies, and then finally, three years ago, it was bought by three of its managers. In a statement, the administrators said the financial challenges meant that every buyer we spoke to felt the prospects were not commercially viable. It's hoped the smaller coach side of the business will be saved. Does that mean passengers will be left stranded at the bus stops? No, it doesn't. Down the road in Poole, the company which runs more bus was just waiting for the business to fold and today it has stepped in. It had already brought spare buses to Dorset from elsewhere. It will take over core routes and there will be an emergency timetable from Saturday. More buses will accept yellow bus tickets for the next 10 years, so 10 days rather, and it's also offering a £2,000 bonus to any drivers who want to transfer. Right, the drivers who are made redundant, as of tomorrow, they will no longer have a job. More bus, the local, other local operator, has reached out and will take on as many as they can of those. So that's a process that's happening. There's going to be a mass meeting tomorrow. Paul, what does the future hold for bus passengers in Bournemouth? Well, the buses will be a different colour and it, they'll be a bumpy ride for a few days as more bus settles into its expanded territory. This will give parent company Go Ahead something close to a local monopoly here. It is the South's biggest bus company. It operates in Poole, Blandford, Salisbury, Eastley, Southampton, the Isle of Wight and elsewhere. As for yellow buses, well, as a small company, it couldn't cope with that toxic combination of lower passengers in the pandemic, this year's rapid rise in fuel costs, and now the ending of government's COVID financial support. So, a very famous name on the south coast, 120 years old, could very soon disappear. Paul Clifton in Bournemouth, thank you.